What up gamers, Fence here here, and welcome back to Shadowverse. So last time we finished things off with Erica's story here, and because of that we get to move on to Isabel's story, who we only heard by name in Arisa's story, so I do wonder what she's, you know, been up to, you know, as well as for, the, for all the other characters. You know, there's still some characters we haven't seen yet, like uh, Rowan, Luna, Urias, um, and all that. I wonder what... <laughs> Dude, especially Urias, man, him being like a vampire who wants to fight all the time. I'm wondering, like, what he's what he's doing in, in Asunia here. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, maybe he'll join, like, a, a gladiator guild. You ever thought about that? He'll just fight everyone in an arena until he's, like, the very best. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, like before, we're gonna skip purgation, and we'll be doing new magic upside down in unyielding giants. And I gotta say, upside down, man, <laughs> has like a whole different meaning to me because I've started watching uh, Stranger Things recently. But yeah, new magic. Here we go. Um, after crossing dimensions and finding herself in an unfamiliar land, Isabel encounters a mysterious girl. Oh, is it her? Um, who introduces herself as Eleanor Gloria. A great mage of Asunia. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think Eleanor here was the one that mentioned Isabel like in just one line. But it's kind of funny too how like these characters so far they they are transported to like areas where and they also like meet people that are like related to them. Like with Arisa and the Blade Rites, they're very much the same. The same with Erica and the kind of Solari. And now Eleanor, I guess because they're mages. So, sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, here's the deck that I'll be using for the uh, for Isabel's story over here. Yep, that's the deck. I don't believe I've made any changes or, you know, in fact, made changes to any other of the decks uh, so far for the most part. Um, with the exception of Yuen because the limits that th those two cards in the limited, in the limited here to like one copy. <laughs> Um, it's that resonance cards But yeah, I had to really tinker with that. But anyways, here we go guys Let's go and start Isabel's story here and see what she's up to hmm. Where am I? Have I arrived? Hey! Hey you! Huh? Who are you? Of course, we, we teleport to an area where we have to meet someone that is very much similar to us Oh my. <laughs> Not all flowers grow in this world. What? Some grow beyond the blue, and I am one such flower. Why is she on top of the roof? What what is she doing up there? Why are we being introduced to her like that? <laughs> like it she's more dramatic than um the way uh what is his name? Leon? Or not Leon, Leod <laughs> was introduced. But I just realized too, dude, the uh, Arisa, like the Blade Rites, they didn't have any fancy art like this. Gaze upon me in awe and reverence, for I am... Uh, I'm tired of this. Who are you <laughs> supposed to be? Okay. You didn't have to do that. No, who are you? Hmm. I've just made a hypothesis. I'll do you a favor and reveal it. Huh? You've come here from another dimension. Or another world, or whatever you want to call it. Here are the three bases for my conjecture. First, there's your appearance. A single glance reveals that you're not from Asunia. Okay, she's... She's very, uh, I guess smart. Um, that's... Yeah, just like right off the bat, she knows everything. <laughs> like, that. that is such a really good assumption right there. There's also no way that I could be unacquainted with someone of your social class, which is evidenced by the quality of the cloth and adornments that you're using. Ooh. The way you act is downright bizarre. Com complimenting our clothing over here. <laughs> Apparently it is uh, very high quality. And more than anything else, that spell, or should I say technique or method, oh. I've never seen anything quite like it. But at any rate, it's what brought you here. To think there could be a type of magic I don't know? How preposterous! An uncommon appearance, incomprehensible behavior, and an impossible means of movement. My conclusion is, therefore, that you do not live in this world or dimension. Am I incorrect? 
Jeez, man. <laughs> how, how is she this smart? Hmm. Who is this girl supposed to be? No sooner does she fall from the sky than she starts bending my ear. Hmm. Silence is the beginning of affirmation. Who... Who on earth are you? Why are you asking me a second time? There's a way that things are done, and now it's time to exchange names. Ah, I see. My name is Eleanor Gloria. I am the Marshal of the Magus Covenant, and the greatest mage in all Isenia. Who are you? I'm Isabel. Compared with my introduction, yours has a pronounced dearth of information. Is this <laughs> your first time introducing yourself to another person? Or perhaps in your world, this is simply the way that things are done. In that case, I too will... I mean, you don't have to like... Say your whole occupation and stuff. Like, hey, I'm fancier. I make YouTube videos. I've made a lot of them. You don't... You can just say I'm fancier. I'm a palatial mage. I'm from another world, just as you said. That's a fancy word. I don't, I don't even know. Palatial? I'll need to look that up later. <laughs> I figured as much, since I'm typically correct. Next, then, allow me to conduct an experiment based on my hypothesis. Hmm? Does that girl really believe that I'm from another world? I can't say I understand her, but this works well enough. Do you know of Nexus? I'm pursuing her. Oh, okay. <sighs> what a handful you are. Okay, so she's not that far into her knowledge. Did I not just tell you that there's a way things are done? What's oh, the meaning of this? We gotta fight. <laughs> That's how it's done. I don't believe in gods, but if I were to make a rhetorical flight of fancy, I'd say that it's a heavenly blessing to be able to experience another world's magic. A one-of-a-kind opportunity, so to speak. You seem capable of using magical powers whose character is similar to ours, though not wholly identical. What do you use as a catalyst, and what do you cast? This is terribly fun. You know, that's also really interesting to think about. But I'll, I'll see it in the, during our battle here. Why all of this so suddenly? Heaven doesn't send a signal before it sends a blessing. This shouldn't be so bad from your perspective anyway, seeing as how my magic's this world's best. I'm a worthy flower indeed. Okay, we're about to battle here. But yeah, that's also pretty interesting to think about too is, you know, she was talking about like comparing how magic is being used. Because, you know, in... A lot of different other, like, you know, other stories and worlds. Why all of this so suddenly? I am the cosmic flower. Like, yeah, like, some worlds you would need to, like, chant to, like, activate your spell. Like, dude, if you compare, like, Harry Potter and Skyrim's magic, like, you gotta use a wand and say some words. I mean, you can also do whatever the flicking, you don't have to say anything, too. But, like, man. Yeah. <laughs> It's like it's very different magic. Just imagine like a mage from the College of Winterhold in Skyrim fights a, a wizard at Hogwarts. I'll display my they have, incomparable they have very different magics. Very, very different magics. For my people. So yeah, that's just uh, <laughs> interesting to think about for me I'll at least. Um, uh, I'll do this. Jeez, we're at four now. That's amazing. No. Okay. Oh, uh, we got her. Um. Uh, I think I'll play this. I mean, I like that five damage over here. I'll do one damage and draw. Nice. I should start fusing with Isabel. Uh, can't be targeted, but is this random? No, this one has to be a target. Okay, I think I want to evolve you. Yeah, or this. 
Um, no, I'll just. I want that effect. The Scarlet Crystal tells me all. You're done for. There we go. We'll be together soon. Got the effect. My boyfriend. It's up to you. Uh, let's go and. Should I play this? This is for the enemy leader. If I evolve this, nah. Well, yeah, I, I guess I'll play it for now. Let me go in, fuse. Nice. Let me share my wisdom. Oh. Hey, it's Mysteria. For those who cast in my name. Was she also in the recent, like, the recent Godworm thing, War of the Godworm? So it was you, after all. We're at eight right now, and yeah, there's Quadra Magic. I really want to play Ruler of Rubble next. Oh my gosh, so many cards. Ooh, that's gonna be a big... Alright, Ruler of Rubble. I really want to see, uh... See this. This was once a proud country. Nice. <laughs> that's so satisfying. Um, if I want, see if I can evolve him though. Yeah, let me do that. It won't be long now. Rise, my watch your step. You burn for this. Nice. Home beckons. Oh, snap. Well, that's not enough for you to take me down. <laughs> um. Yeah, attack directly. Deal three damage to an enemy. Oh, we can probably do that then. Uh, I think we just won. You're certainly an interesting one. Thank you. All right, that was our first battle here. Is this girl? Yeah, she seems to be very smart. I'm very surprised by her. <laughs> oh. <sighs> this girl is incredible. How can she draw so much power simply by reading a grimoire? <sighs> and this magic of hers seems to be interfering with gravity. All that by herself without even voicing a single spell. Right. I think I've got it. <sighs> Allow me to summarize. Your magic is fascinating. You inhale magic from the air, relay it through your body, and then form magic circles. Whereupon your magic circles calculate the output and activate. That much I understand, but nothing any deeper is clear. And that's why it's fascinating. To be frank, I'm flabbergasted. To think that there is actually a form of magic that surpasses my understanding. However, the most fascinating thing of all is you yourself. You were immediately able to grasp my magic and then resist. Given a few seconds, you'd likely have broken my gravity, wouldn't you? <sighs> yeah, I wasn't thinking that far ahead, but... <laughs> <laughs> She'll take Perhaps it. Perhaps fascinating isn't the most fitting expression, because my impartial interest is turning to goodwill. Huh? Isabel, you must join the Magus Covenant. We uh, welcome you. Oh, I, uh... That was fast. You're likely unable to understand, but membership in our guild is a supreme honor. Once you've understood, you'll thank me. Now come on! Oh, wait, wait! Don't pull! Where are we going? Where else? No matter how great your power might be, you don't know everything about this world. I'll show you around. Come on, this way. 
<sighs> Stop pulling. <laughs> we must hurry, Isabel. Today is sure to be an especially busy day. Yeah. But dude, Eleanor, man, she's... <laughs> she really made an impression, man. That first impression... That is such an impression, but yeah. Um, upside down, Isabel learns of the land of Asunia and the canals that run through it. Asunia is governed by five guilds, one of which is led by Eleanor herself, the Magus Covenant. Alright, uh, let's go in. Looks like there's going to be another battle here. Isabel, I have very little interest in phenomena that have already been explained. I'm therefore going to proceed with a summary explanation. You have set foot in the capital of the land of Asunia. I doubt that facts such as its population or area are of interest to you, so allow me to focus on the most pronounced characteristics. First, the canals. These have been dug all throughout the capital, and they serve as our primary means of transportation. The water in the canals also contains a slight amount of magic. Look! You know, they, they always mention the canals over here. I wonder if they're going to be playing a big part later on. You're right. It's glimmering. It's this magic that allowed Asunia to outcompete the other lands. Asunia's waters are, in a matter of speaking, the land circulatory system. Next, the guilds. Isabel, is the land you were in before a monarchy? Yes, the state was ruled by one person. Isunia is a rather different sort of place. The ruler here is not a single person, but rather five guilds. Guilds? As in professional organizations? Yes, that sort of thing. I'll spare you the details. All you need to remember now is the Magus Covenant, the guild that I am in charge of. <laughs> of course, she doesn't want her to join any other guilds except for hers. The Magus Covenant? Yes, our guild conducts research day in and day out. It's a truly wonderful thing. Magic wielders, be noble is our motto. Oh, so you're working for the progress of this land? No, that's not it. This land's progress doesn't interest me at all. What? But this guild is ruling the land, isn't it? I was simply able to find my place at the top on account of having power. This land couldn't mean less to me. Then what is it you're doing? Research, naturally. Our mission is to refine our interests with knowledge and carry out our moral duties. Politics and governance are jobs for the people. Okay. I see. There seems to be something honest in the way that she only thinks about herself. It's a bit frightening, but... Is that anything to be surprised about? Your magic has a scent reminiscent of my own. You're right. It shouldn't be a surprise. I did everything possible to bring Kyle back to life. Threw everything away. Oh Friends no. It didn't matter to me, and neither did the crown. Is, is she gonna have, like... I don't know, just her saying Kyle, is she gonna, like, go back to being crazy again? You know, like, is it going to, like, make her in a way of, like, arrogant, in a way? <laughs> I don't know. Probably not, but... My explanation is now complete. Do you have any questions? Questions? Well... Oh. Yeah, what's that? Ah! What is that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm? Is that supposed to be one of your questions? Just answer me! That's a pseudo-organism, typically referred to as a magical life form. Its body is made by mixing the water of Asunia with mystical twigs, pure silver, and honey, and then instilling the mixture with magic. Okay. You're certainly knowledgeable. Yeah. Is that to say that these magical life forms are common in this town? It's not as if they're always here. It's only when we conduct experiments and aren't able to obtain the desired results that they appear. One might call them badges of failure. I mean, <laughs> you just, when you do these experiments, you just let them go, or? <laughs> I don't know how that happens. Accordingly, their lives are ephemeral things of just a few hours long. If we were to find specimens that could abide for longer, we might be able to develop them, but alas. Ah, it's coming this way. Magical life forms want life energy. It's perhaps only natural that they attack other living things in order to absorb them. Only natural? What are you saying? <laughs> Even if it does succeed in absorbing you, you'll merely feel tired for a bit. 
There's no real harm. They're very sticky, though, and I rather dislike that. I'm therefore going to prepare for attack. What about you? Me? What do you think? <laughs> okay. So yeah, they're not that dangerous. Like they'll just feel, like if you get attacked by them, you'll just feel tired. Like you can, I guess you can't die from them. What's going on? All right, here we go. Yeah, this is a. I feel like it's a good hand. All right. For my people. Uh, nah, I'd rather not do that. I don't want to lose this. Oh wait, we can play this. The engine's busted. Nice. Ooh. Um, I'm tempted to play this. Yeah. The next turn we can play that. The witch. No. Okay, yeah, we're still okay. The Scarlet Crystal tells me all. Um Evolve. You're done for. We'll be together soon. And we got that effect. Um, My boyfriend. I don't like this this card over here being around. <laughs> but I feel like I want to keep her on the field too. Um Today's the day I become a witch! Okay. Um Yeah, I can't won't be able to deal two damaged enemy leader but that's fine uh, no yeah let's just My do this boyfriend. maybe no no let's do this oh no wait we got it <laughs> her effect activates at the beginning of the next turn of like the opponent's turn Okay. Um What shall we do here? I feel like I want to play this. But now we got one. Yikes. I want to build up my birthright again. Ooh, that card is here too. Red, green, blue. The perfect mix. Okay, at least we got that. You won't escape. Strange. My arrows never miss. I underestimated you. Okay. Um, if I evolve. Oh no, wait, I, can't, I think we can just win this. It won't be long now. It's a lot harder. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I win. <laughs> I win. There we go. That was some quick thinking I had to do. Magical life form. Yes, that was a magical life form. Hmm, that one seems more vigorous than previous specimens. Yes, my apprentices and guild are great indeed. Even as they stand at the world's apex, they continue to grow. I don't want to make assumptions, but you make it sound as if that creature is your work. Of course not. If I were to make it, it wouldn't have turned out like that. Oh? 
It's the product of my apprentices. Isn't that the same thing? <laughs> so the purpose of your guild is to create monsters? Of course not. The perfection of pseudo-organisms is but one of our many plans. Huh. The Magus Covenant's purpose. No, I should say my purpose is to turn the world upside down. Turn the world upside down? To transform mysteries into masteries and the impossible to the possible. And why is that what you want? That's just the way I was born. Huh. Why? This girl is talking madness, and yet for some reason I find myself drawn into her eyes. Isabel, you have <laughs> one too, don't you? Some sort of goal? Well, yes. I have a goal of sorts too. No, I should say I had one. Now I'm not so sure. Yeah. I mean, she, I feel like she's moved on from Kyle now. I'm not sure what, you know, what else is there for her. You know, she doesn't have to take down Nexus if there isn't anything anything for her to, you know, gain. Unlike the others, you know, Risa with Lozaria, Eric with the princess, Rowan and his, his family. So yeah, I'm wondering what Isabel's goal now. Like, you know, I wonder what she's fighting for. Other than, you know, just trying to be a hero for the, for the other people. Then it would suit us to work together. To fulfill our goals and to find new goals. You're sure to grow at any rate. And above all, you'll entertain me. I'll never have another chance to meet a mage from another world. I can't allow this opportunity to slip away. So you mean to say that you'd like to use me as an instrument in your experiments? Hmm. I meant to communicate that in a roundabout way. Then you did a terrible job. That's what I get for stepping out of my comfort zone. I don't know whether she can be trusted. She might even get in my way. But there's no denying this girl's power. And then there's what she says. Turn the world upside down. If she were to do that, then Kyle and I would... Oh. Eleanor, we have a problem on our hands. You know, I, you know, I didn't even know what she meant by upside down. But is she talking about like the, like the dead people, like some maybe I don't know necromancy? <laughs> hmm? Is it them? Yes, ma'am. Due to some carelessness on our part. Failure is one of experimentation's many children. What need is there to apologize? I'll go see things for myself. You know, that's a great line. Failure is one of experimentation's many children. <laughs> I beg your pardon. <sighs> what is it now? I'm going to step away for a bit, Isabel. That's fine. Curious what's going on? It's just taking care of the everyday stuff, the nuts and bolts. I've already committed the scent of your magic to memory, so feel free to wander anywhere in the capital. I'll return soon. That girl is quite the little cyclone. I came here to find Nexus. That was my little goal. But Eleanor Gloria, the Magus Covenant. If they can really turn the world upside down, then maybe there's a chance they could do something for Kyle. Oh my gosh. We have not moved on from Kyle. <laughs> he is still, still there. Okay, last one here, Unyielding Giants. Eleanor reveals the purpose of the Magus Covenant's research before promptly vanishing. Soon afterward, Isabel encounters Luna, who is accompanied by a large companion. Finally, we get to see some other characters too. And there's a battle, wow, three battles in a row. I feel like that's, it's been like two battles per video in, the, in Arisa and Erica, so at least at the beginning and middle. But yeah, very... Very interesting. She said that I could go anywhere, but I have nowhere to go. I have no idea what to do. <sighs> oh, it's this guy. I've seen your card before. Yeah, I remember using like the older version, not the uh, not the Re Renaissance Chronicles. <laughs> you're weird, Luna. It's you, Luna. You're here in this world too. Come to think of it, it was a bit odd that none of the others were here. We did all leap to this world together. Yes, as long as nothing <laughs> interferes. Let's go. Dude, I, I don't know why, I just always like seeing you in here. Such a cool character. Could something really have interfered? 
Uh, I've got to go. Wait, Luna, where is it you're going? Uh, all there is is this guy, so I'm going with him. Dude, I, I just like the, uh, <laughs> the way the voice actress of Luna just says, I don't know. It's just, just fun. This guy? He looks harmless enough, but for some reason something doesn't feel right. Luna, you should come with me then. That way... Dude, this guy... <laughs> All this guy's been doing is yawn. <laughs> Dude, I want I want to go to Luna's story. Oh shoot. Ah! What? what was that? Did he cast some sort of magic? It didn't seem like that. With his yawn? Hmm? No. If I don't put up a fight, he'll stomp all over me. Are we going to do this? Might as well. See, I just woke up, so I'm not oh, sure I knew if it. I'll be able to take it easy. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought maybe he was sleeping. No, please stop. She's my like like sleepwalking and all that. Stand back, Luna. I can just tell that he's dangerous. So this is what I have to do. No, please stop. Don't fight. Oh no. You gotta fight Luna. Okay. Let's do it then. Sorry, Luna. Of my way. Help me, it's not a bad guy. Um. Uh, might have to play a card in turn. Oh no, we can play Covetous Witch. <laughs> I was about to say, if I don't have any two cost cards other than Covetous Witch, the Scarlet Crystal tells me all. I would like maybe have to wait for turn three for this. Should also do some fusion. Why am I not doing that? I'll fuse with the other Isabel here. <laughs> um. Uh, Thing, I just realized <laughs> I don't have my thing anymore. I always forget this one has a uh, Earthright too. I I always focus on this, but not this. Oh. Yeah, maybe I could have saved that card. <laughs> I think I could have just saved that card. Yeah, I need to get a stack going on. I want to use this guy. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we got one here. But I think I want to try to get the effect here first. Uh, wait, hold on. Is this guy... You think I should fuse with him? Uh, I'd rather use something else like the Acid Golem. But there's also the Clay Sorceress. Uh, well, we'll choose Clay Sorceress then. Oh, we got two of them here. You're done for. We'll be together, my boyfriend. Got four now. The crystal's unbelievable. Ooh. Uh, we can deal four damage to an enemy follower. We can do this two times if you want to. Or we can play this. I feel like I want to get rid of you. Your... 
rain on that parade. Nice. Good. Uh, let's get Isabel over here, and then uh, we can play her and evolve her if you want to. Or do we want to play the Alchemist here again, <laughs> just for uh, just to get rid of this guy? Maybe. I mean, there's always these other cards, but like this one. Uh, no, yeah, we can just play this. You'll make a good test subject. It won't be long now. Okay. Sorry, but this ends here. Uh. Yes. <laughs> there we go. So how many, uh, ooh, two more spells to play? If I can get two more spells in, that would be pretty fun. Um, there's also, we can always play this, get the Witch Snap. You know what? I, I do want to finish off with Quadra Magic, so let's let's try to go for it. Oh, jeez. Okay, I didn't think it would go all the way. <laughs> oh my gosh. The power to bind the dead. Yeah, good thing I didn't fuse Isabel with, with with the golem over here. Luna, stay out of the way. That man is dangerous. But try this on for size. Ugh. Who is this man? No matter how much I throw at him, he just won't go down. He doesn't even have a scratch. Your magic's not from this world. You must be the same as Luna. Oh, okay. You're through. So you weren't trying to challenge me then. Sorry about that. No. You're kidding. I was hitting you with everything that I had. You want to come along? And where do you suggest we go? That... I haven't decided. Dude, this guy is awesome. I, <laughs> I really want to do a Luna story here. I'm afraid I have to say no then. Alright. Well, take care then. So chill. I like him. He's so chill. Luna, do you really have to stay together with that person? I don't know. He's just really nice. Hmm. <laughs> and she's not? I know I shouldn't be worrying about Luna, but still. So you weren't trying to challenge me then? Sorry about that. He's not a human. He's some sort of monster. I've never seen anything like it before. Is he a zombie? Is he a zombie? Because I feel like, you know... Because I know he's a a Shadowcraft card, so I'm guessing he is a... Maybe he's a zombie. Is that going to lead to, like, her, like, if he's a zombie, then I can make Kyle a zombie? I don't know. Gloria, that man. They're the people that make up this other world. If I were able to have even a fraction of their power, then... Kyle, can I still wish for you? No, just move on. He's already dead. <laughs> Let him rest in peace. Anyways, uh, yeah guys, that was it for this video here. That was New Magic, Upside Down, and Unyielding Giants. Next time, Integrity, Friendship, Research, and Curiosity. Uh, but yeah, um, Isabel's story, you know, with Eleanor, uh, that, that was such a very big impression. And now I also like um, the other guy, that the one that was with Luna. He is such a chill guy, I can't wait to, to play Luna's story. Um, but yeah, guys, I think that'll be it for now. That's game.